Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be going into Area 2 since we defeated the first area. So, taking a look at this, yeah, Grandpa's been defeated. So now, we have unlocked Area 2, but before that, let's see. I think we're going to go to the entrance hall. Yeah, there's something in here we want. At least to check out. That's right, shopping. Now, we did earn some points over our time period here, so I, I'm sure I could pay for something, right, Gramps? Where are you at? There You're you are. Off to a great start. Thank you, Grandpa. Yes, I won a few battles and accumulated monster points. True, I've gathered a bunch of new monsters for you. Hooray! Before I forget, I have to tell you that the monsters you can get from me won't always be the same. Oh. I recommend examining the monsters closely. I will. Okay, so which monsters should I get? What's the fun in... Check them out for you. Yeah, no, I want to check them out. Yeah. I don't know why Yugi's asking. You can exchange them for monster points. I, I get Select that. Sell from the and select the monster. Ah, I... All right, so I could sell my what monsters, I like could buy do? monsters. I would like to buy monsters. Let's see, Happy Lover, I already have. I already have Skellendrill Time Wizard. He has really good movement and attack. Alright, he's bought. I don't care how much he costs. How much do I have? I have 1,200? Okay. Uh, Fiend Reflection, Prisman, Left Leg, Left Leg. How much do these cost? Where does it say the price? Alright, I'll... Oh, Feral Lamp. Wow. That's a cool monster to have. Summon Skull! Oh, jeez. That's a cool monster. Flame Viper. That's a good one. Firegrass, yeah, okay. Fire Reaper, Flame Manipulator, yeah, that's a good one. White Dolphin, I already have a million root waters. Gray White, that could get my deck some some strength. Honeywa, Larvis, I already have Larvis. Rock Gorg Grotto, Droll Bird, Karama, Baby Dragon! You better believe I'm gonna buy a Baby Dragon. Petite Moth, oh, they already have a Needle Worm, so this is Petite Moth's, oh no, it's not, no, Larvae Moth is. Ignore Needle Worm, that's, no, ignore me. I'm just crazy. Alright, looking around. They have some electric monsters. And overall, there are only some of these I want. And I want them now. Some of Scott. Yeah, he's too cool not to buy. Um, do I want a great white just so I have more water monsters? I might. I might. Alright, I'm going to buy these monsters. What would you like to do? Uh, wait, no, Gramps, Gramps, Gramps. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to cancel my current purchases. What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to leave you, because I don't need you anymore, Grandpa. Thank you for all your help. And now I have an even better deck, so let me manage my monsters. With my amazing deck, I plan on putting these monsters together and, uh, creating something the world has never seen. Let us build unit. All right, we obviously don't need three Psychic Kappas, so we could, uh, we could take one of these out of here and trade it with a Time Wizard. Um, my Root Waters, I obviously don't need three of these either, either. So we could trade that for a Summon Skull. Now we have a Dark Piece. Um, uh, what else do I have in my main deck? No, I don't mind keeping some of these guys. Um... Yeah, I don't mind keeping some of these cards. It's fine. I guess... Where's Baby Dragon? What, what, what would I replace Baby Dragon? You know, I don't need two Maneaters. I don't even... I've never even used that monster once. Uh-huh. A Wind Monster. Yeah, Baby Dragon being a Wind is going to help me out a lot. Um, let's see what else. I want to get... Oh, what do I not need? You know, I should have bought those Exodia pieces now that I think about it. Just so I could have them all. I'm not saying I'm going to use them, but it doesn't hurt to have them, right? No, well, as long as I have the MP, it's worth it. As long as they're not like, oh, 500 MP, Yugi. They're the strongest cards hmm. in the game. Is it a new mon- That's correct. But Yugi, do you- oh, then I Wait. Wait, you you're selling me a new monster? I just- I was just here. What do you mean, what new would monster? You like to do? Wait, are you actually like new mon- no, this is the same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Alright, how much? Okay, that's- that's worth it. Yeah, I could buy pieces of Exodia, why not? Just to say I have them. You know what, give me a Flame Manipulator while we're at it. 
They're pretty cheap. If the monsters are this cheap, then I'm gonna take them. But yeah, I don't- Gramps, I don't see any new monsters. What were you even talking about? You're just a crazy old man, ain't you? Uh-huh, I already got the ones I wanted to buy. What would you like to do? I would like to leave, thank you. It's time for me to actually play the game. But I am happy that I got some new monsters to give my deck a type advantage against certain opponents. Because going into Area 2, type advantages are going to matter more and more, as well as monster positioning. And the best way to change your monster positioning is to have monsters with interesting movement effects, or just many movement effects. We'll see how it goes. We're going to go ahead and start off in Area 2. Our first opponent will be Weevil Underwood, the ancient forest of origin. I'm surprised he's before Rex Raptor, but honestly, I could see wood monsters being very weak. Now, I don't think wood gives my water monsters any trouble. Oh, crap, I don't have my phone. My phone had all the type advantages on it. Uh-oh. That's not good. Now you guys can tell when I do different recording sessions. Crap. I know where my phone is, but it's charging. Damn it. Oh, looks like I'll go into this one blind, although I already know wood monsters hate the fire. Ooh, another map with a lot of effort. Look at this! And there's actually water on this map, so it might buff my guys. Okay, okay. Yeah, this seems like my kind of area. You know, I got some wood monsters of my own. You know, I did just buy that flame manipulator. Oh, shit! Oh god. You if you want to get your grubby little hands on the tournament title, you'll have to go through me. It's actually Weevil. <laughs> it's his and voice. That's what I'll do, Weevil. I'll take you on any time, any place. All right, How let's beat up a little right kid. Now, right? That's yeah, fine yeah, with yeah. Me. It's time to do. All right, everyone, we're taking on Weevil Underwood, one of the first uh antagonists in the show. He later becomes a joke, but let's see what he's trying to pick. He wants this card. Ha ha! Get Wreck Kid. I will go first. I almost always want to go first. So yeah, this area has water to weaken my fire monsters. Let's see. Wood, 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 water, electricity. What beat electricity again? Was it Earth? I think it was Earth. All right, so let's see. Wow, this guy costs a lot. Um, water loses to wind, I believe. That is the weird new thing. So Baby Dragon might actually be helpful here. Um, we also have to worry about... Okay, let's get wa Let's get my boss monster because he's just the best. We'll bring Fire Reaper. We'll bring Larvis. Time Wizard, I don't think you help in this fight, but it's just nice to bring a new monster. Um, plus, we have a shit ton of MP we're allowed to use. Like, Jesus. You know, I could even bring Summon Skull just to show him off. Yeah, it's not... You know what? It's not like I'm gonna hate it. Yeah. Let's bring Summon Skull. Alright, guys. So, we are gonna be in the woods, apparently. And in the woods, I shall summon my monsters. Alright. I would like to manually place my monsters video game. Time Wizard is a guy who, uh... Moves very strangely, but attacks very casually. A, str a very interesting card. So I'm going to put him right here. My Larvis is a guy who moves normally, but attacks to the weird diagonal sides. I'll put him right here. I can't. I'll put him right here. My Fire Reaper is a monster that's going to give, uh, you know, give our buddy Weevil a lot of trouble. So he needs to be ready to go in. Rootwater is my boss monster. I need to put him here. Baby Dragon is here for that one water monster and has a lot of movement. Heck yeah. That water monster is on the side, so I will put him here. And finally, we have the Summon Skull. The Summon Skull goes here. No real use for him right now. I just want a Summon Skull. Alright, so let's see what we can do with these monsters. Right now with my low MP. Oh wait, I leveled up my MP, but still, uh, AP or whatever. The thing to it's summon, time to AP, start. yeah. Uh, with my low AP, it's best to summon my monsters in succession. So we need this card no matter what. This guy is really good, or this capsule monster. I'm going to say card a lot because I only remember them from the cards, but yeah. This guy's only worth 50, really. 
That's actually a very low cost. Alright, what about you, baby dragon? You're 83? That's fine by me. Actually, that costs quite a bit, but you're a level 3 1200 attacker, so I guess it makes sense. Baby dragon does have quite the attack stat. Now, Weevil Underwood, what kind of monsters are you going to summon? <laughs> Having fun yet? Alright, what are you going to start with? We have... The Cockroach Knight. Yep, that one is a problem. And... A Larvae Moth. Okay. that Or a Needle Worm, possibly, but it looked like a Larvae Moth. Um, that is the Evolve Form of Petite Moth. Yeah, let's go take a peek at it. Yep, Larvae Moth. The Evolve Form of Petite Moth. You would have the Evolve Form. Now, let me get back to summoning. God, it costs 100 to summon this guy. You're crazy. Does he even give us a lot of AP? He doesn't even give us any AP. But this guy, he doesn't. He gives us some. Yeah, I'm getting my guys on the board first. This is why going first is boost. Alright, everyone's out and about. Now I'm going to move my Fire Reaper 2 to the side. Just so that he's ready to go into battle. And I'm go- Oh, I can only move Larvis. I forgot Baby Dragon has a higher cost. Whoops, then I moved too, too many. But I will move Larvis 2 to the side as well. And I will end my turn. Alright, Weevil, let's see what you got. You were one of my favorite people to fight. I actually use your deck multiple times when I fight my friends on the... What is it called? Back in the day when we played on PS3. I, we used to play the game... Uh, they just updated it. The one, they updated it with Link Monsters. Legacy of the Duelist? Yeah, we played that. Me and my friend Arturo and uh, my other friends too. And I used to use a Weevil deck on them. A bunch of decks, honestly. A bone, like all, all decks, but Weevil is one of the ones I used a lot. So let's get you over there. Let's move you towards that electric monster. Try to get rid of it. Uh, you are weak to electricity, Time Wizard, but uh, actually, maybe we could hold you back for a turn. We might not need to use you. Uh, my boss monster should get close to the water since water will buff it. I think that'll be a good idea. Uh, summon Skull, you can move a lot, right? Yeah, either way, we need you to move right here. Just get ready to move for movement. And then Baby Dragon, you move right here. Oh wow, I could still move Time Wizard. Alright, so only one movement because... Even though he has triple movement, I did block him, but it's fine. It's not like I want Time Wizard on the front lines when there's a freaking Light Monster right there. Let's just uh, see what our opponent does. What Water Monster would they have at this point? Ah, he has my Root Water, okay. And his Light Monster is... Ooh, a Shovel Crusher, interesting. So Larvae Moth is better than Petite Moth, as you can see. It attacks in a better direction. Uh, these guys are coming straight for me. Interesting. That's a little ballsy. Yeah, a little, little ballsy. So yeah, these guys, they can move one, two, attack one, attack one, or attack one. So, and this guy, he's interesting, because he can move two, but attack like this, diagonally. So... If I were to move here, he'd be able to hit me. If I were to move here, he couldn't hit me. So we're going to move right here. Next, we're going to move Root Water into a position where he might get hit. That way the opponent is going to try and, you know, get us. Baby Dragon is going to hold off because Larvis is there. The Electric Monster hasn't moved yet, so I have to watch out for that. Petite Moth, on the other hand, has moved. Alright, next, we're going to move Summon Skull very forward. Yeah, he's got 2-2, two, two, that's fine. It's actually a pretty good monster. Next, we're going to move Time Wizard in a very interesting direction. Now, if I move him here, I'm guaranteeing that he'll get attacked. Only once, but he will get attacked. I think he could take one hit. Alright, Time Wizard will take that hit. And uh, my Baby Dragon will move right here. That way it can attack next turn. And now I've moved all my pieces. We'll see what I could do with these now. So, Weevil, what's your plan? Okay, that's coming right for me. That's no fun. I said I could take it, and I was right. Let's uh, put anim animations on, of course. Let's check out what these monsters can do. Ah, here it comes. The no bug spray shield. And a sword. Cockroach Knight arrives and grasshopper attack all right we knew that attack but it still looks cool we're gonna take the hit right there big hit we don't have the hp to make another uh, take another one of those i still have a chance 
Yeah, it's all good, Yugi. We, we intended to take a hit. That guy's going to hide in the water, which is a smart play. That guy's body blocking Petite Moth while Petite Moth runs away. Root Water's on the way, understanding what I'm doing. And Shovel Crusher is just a good monster in general. So no matter where I put my monster, Shovel Crusher... Uh-oh. Is a cutscene about to happen? Is the game going to change? Oh, it's really pretty. Okay, what does that do for us? Or against us? When the world gets prettier, the map, maybe it, it, it makes it so light monsters are stronger? Who knows? Alright. So, the electric monster is ahead of us. I got that larvae moth in the way, so Cockroach Knight is a problem. We should, uh, we should try dealing with him. Yeah, this will do a lot of damage to Cockroach Knight. We don't need to see a Fire Reaper animation. There we go, 145 damage. Then... Ah, leave my alone. <laughs> Sorry, Weevil, but that's not my intention. I, I intend to hurt you. What? Kitty? What the heck? Come here. My cat just broke into my room. I thought I closed the door. Hi there, baby girl. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm sorry, guys. My cat needs me. Alright, well, I'm just gonna start playing and hopefully she's cool just chilling with me. Right, Roxy? Yeah. Hi. It's good to see you. Uh, how's the baby girl? You doing all right? I I don't know what that means. I don't I don't speak your language. I know it's complicated. <laughs> I know I know. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to attack this monster. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna attack this monster. It's just no damage. Damn. Time wizard needs a lot. Okay, hold up. Instead of that, let's let's move you forward and let's see if you even will kill that opponent. If he's unable to kill the opponent, then it might not be worth. He can't even kill the opponent. All right. Cuz I don't think Summon Skull is going to be able to hit anybody this turn. Not like it was my intention for him to hit anybody. What baby girl? Come here. Come here. Come here. Right here. Come on. Be with your papa. All right, baby. This is Roxy, by the way, everybody. So my Roxy cat is right here. She seems to be lonely or she's just annoyed because I'm talking in a room that she's not in. Usually I try to get her into a different room so she doesn't know I'm recording. Because if she knows I'm recording, she's going to be like, hey, why aren't you talking to me? And then that's what happens. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice my time wizard piece if I want to move aggressively. So I also could just not move. But no matter what, I'm going to get hit by Shovel Crusher, so... Unless I fall back, but if I fall back, then I'm a baby. And I don't want to be... I don't want people to think of me like a baby. Alright, what if Baby Dragon attacked this guy? How much would he do? He'd only do 52. Wow, my monsters are really weak here. Or it's just that his are really strong, because it, it's a wood area. Which makes a lot of sense, actually. And it makes sense that he would be strong in the wood area. Alright, this guy can only move two, so... If I were to move here, I'd be safe. Yeah, I would be. Alright, well, we have to make sure we kill a monster at the sacrifice of Time Wizard. It's a shame, but it needs to happen. You know what? We'll let Time Wizard get the kill since he's going to be out around. That way he could at least get some experience. He's going to be my new light monster. I like his movement and attack, and come on, we all grew up with Time Wizard. He's awesome. So, Rootwater, go ahead and get that attack in. Put some damage on the Cockroach Knight. And then I, with Time Wizard, will kill it. Oh, only one experience. Oh, that's fine. He's a strong guy. It makes sense that he only gets one experience. And then you, my Time Wizard friend, why don't you move over here and attack over here? Yeah, and let's see your Time Magic attack. I wonder if, like, the roulette can fail. And then, like, my attack just doesn't go through. But sometimes, when I get the lucky one, I automatically kill the enemy. Alright, let's see. Yep, he's doing the roulette. I hear it. And... Roulette magic. Laser beam. And it got him. Alright, Cockroach Knight has bit the dust. And hopefully that's a lot of experience for Time uh, Time Wizard. Since Time Wizard's dead. 44, yeah, that was a lot. That's not going to help you. It, it is. I killed Cockroach Knight. I feel good about it. I feel stronger for doing so. And now, Summon Skull. Oh, he's already been moved, of course. Oh, I don't know why the freaking map's at this angle now. Let's try not to be at this angle. 
My larva sadly can't hit anybody. And if I put my baby dragon here, I put him in danger. But if I don't put my baby dragon here, larva moth gets a hit off for basically free. Granted, I could choose who they get to hit. But I do like no damage. But then I'm killing my baby dragon. You know what? Better idea. We're gonna move Larvis one space forward. And then we're going to move baby dragon one space forward. Baby dragon will get attacked, but if it gets attacked, my Larvis will be able to attack the opponent. So let's see what our opponent decides to do. I did kill one of your bugs, so Weevil, what are you going to do about it? Alright, his most powerful monster, Larvae Moth, goes to kill Time Wizard, which was expected. We haven't seen Larvae Moth's attack yet. We, see, we know the Petite Moth uses a string shot, but Larvae Moth, maybe they have something a little more interesting in store for us. But we'll see. Overall, I feel like we'll be fine. This is totally not horrifying. Oh, what the hell? You shoot a needle that then shoots strings? That's weird. How can you detach? It's like a bomb. A needle bomb. Alright, well, I lose my time wizard piece, which sucks, but you know, it happens. And then this guy hits my larvis, which he does resist it, so it's fine. Oh, shit, don't turn it off, yeah. Um, Shovel Crusher is new. Yeah, it's fine. I've literally, I literally resist what he's doing. Ooh. I don't know how you resist. Oh god, he's got jet boosters and a freaking freaking claw attack or something. Yep, I resisted that. That did nothing. Petite Moth is coming to die. That's very nice of them. Root water is a problem. But we knew it was going to be a problem eventually, so we are fine with that. And now I get to make decisions. I won't let you stage a comeback. All right, Yugi. He may have killed Time Wizard, but you actually are in a decent situation here. A very decent situation. So what we can do... Guarantee move this. But if I can't kill his boss monster, Larvae Moth, then there's no point. Fire Reaper? I'm pretty sure I'm going to want you to kill this guy. Plus, you're safe from the enemy root water if you can attack it. So we're going to attack the Larvae Moth. Putting it extremely low. Then... Ah, leave my critters alone! No! <laughs> I need to kill them. Then, if I were to move this guy here, I could attack Petite Moth instead if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to, though. I could move Summon Skull and attack that guy. That's interesting. Larvis can only attack this guy this turn, the, the Root Water, which is fine. I need him to hit something. So knowing that he can only hit root water, we're going to move him in a way where he will hit the root water. There we go. Go my Larvis. 120 damage. We'll take it. That's really good. His root water is kind of weak compared to mine. Uh, you're starting to bug me. Yeah, that comes with the territory, doesn't it? All right. Um, Baby dragon, I'm going to move you right over here. And you're going to start fighting the petite moth 1v1. Looks like the wood might actually be a problem for you. I didn't think about this, but type disadvantage is your problem. He's got a type disadvantage here. So, if that's the case, instead, I'm going to do this. Yes! Okay, we can at least destroy this piece. So, Baby Dragon, I expect you to die as well. I'm going to lose both Time Wizard and Baby Dragon, but the benefit is they're going to get kills for me. Which means they'll gain a lot of experience. So, my Baby Dragon goes in. Oh, look at him! That's so cool! Yeah! How could that not be very effective? That's crazy that that counts as not very effective. Alright, that's that's insanity. Alright, 34 experience. So it was worth less than Cockroach Knight, but it was still evolved, so I'm glad to get rid of it. Uh, we're going to go after the Root Water now. We're going to try and finish that monster off with our brand new Summoned Skull card. Or monster. Let's see Summon Skull's animation, because this guy's a beast. Or, he's actually a fiend, but he's a monster, you know? He's, he's gonna look freaking sick. Let's just see how sick. Summon Skull, okay. Yeah, I expect you to have a lightning attack. Or not. That was pretty cool too, actually. I expected a lightning attack, but I got a cool attack out of the deal, so it's fine. 
Alright. Maybe I have to equip you with my IQ or my IQ right, or something. Alright, now you think it's time to get serious after you've already lost a bunch of guys? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move my guy to hurt your petite moth. You only have two guys left, and uh, they're not exactly the best, I'm not gonna lie. Especially since one of them is almost dead. Yeah, it looks like we got everything, guys. There's no way for Weevil to win this fight, even though it did cost me two monsters. I'm assuming Baby Dragon's dead. They're gonna tag team him. And I still have enough AP left because I already lost my other monster, so we're gonna end our turn. Alright, Weevil Underwood. Let's see what you can really do. Send me your strongest attack. Baby Dragon, yep, as expected, does almost all my health. Because I'm weak to the attack. Just like I expected. And then, one more attack from Shovel Crusher will finish it. If that's all the damage it. you can deal, then my monster will not fall. It, it should have done less, Yugi. That thing was his weakest monster. No, Baby Dragon! You're dead! But you got some experience before you had to go, so that's not the worst. It just sucks to see you die. Alright, well, we have position he positioned so Shovel Crusher in a way where he's going to get a super effective attack on him. So, sucks to be him. First things first, Rootwater, push that thing out of your way. It does not matter to you. It is insignificant. So it must die. Alright, we got rid of Baby Batibon. That's probably worth 10 experience to kill. No, 6! Yeah, he's not worth anything to kill. Uh, Summon Skull, you're amazing, but um, I want you to go and weaken that guy. Yeah, big hit from the Summon Skull. And finally, I want my Larvis to get a... He oh, that was guy was worth 3. This is not going according to plan! Obviously not, you suck! And I'm going in. We're going to attack for game. Super effective attack. This will finish this you! This will finish you! Look at this, you're predictable! <laughs> I called it! Wait, come here, Katie. What do you want? You want a little snack? I actually do have a little snack for you. Yeah, good oh, This is a nightmare! And there we go, everybody. Weevil Underwood has been destroyed. Not bad. So. Weevil, what do you have to say after being defeated? No! Everyone else was so Not nice. I lose! Ha! A duel is never over until the very end. That's true. Yugi, how did we win? He had field advantage. <laughs> In fact, how are we beating everybody? Almost everyone we fight has field advantage. This is kind of crazy. I'm impressed, Yugi. I'm very impressed. Alright, so with this, we earned ourselves how many points? 28 points, heck yeah. And with these 28 points, we're all one away from leveling up Root Water. Summon Skull's good, Larvis got a level, and Fire Reaper is good. So Larvis' level gives it more P power points, which is really, really good, making it even tankier. And uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. I will level that up. And we are going to steal some stuff from uh, Weevil. I think it's important that we steal his Larvae Moth and his Shovel Crusher. Yeah. I think that would be the best uh, use of our time. So, let's go ahead and save the game. That's going to be it for this episode, though, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to make it to 15k subs. So, see you all next time. Bye bye